Hi everyone, this is my day 14 review of The Ultimate Reset. This is my last day of phase two. I am officially done with phase two, which is release my detox week. So I'm pretty excited that I don't have to drink that detox drink anymore. Not that it was horrible, but having to chug that three times a day was kind of a struggle sometimes. So I'm really glad that I'm done with that. I'm moving on to phase three, which is called Restore. And basically you just add in one more supplement, which is called Revitalize. So I'm gonna be taking this, I think twice a day. Yeah, I think so. Yes, 30 minutes before meals, and you can take it after the cleanse too. Um, it helps with your digestive tract. So I'm pretty excited to start this phase because phase two, I think was the hardest phase for me because it's like week two of a cleanse, which kind of translates into like the normal day three of a cleanse. So. I want to share some results with you guys. So in just two weeks, I've lost seven pounds, which is pretty amazing for me because it's really, really hard for me to lose weight and fast. Um, not that that's like the best way to lose weight, of course not, but it's hard for me to lose weight. <laughs> and I actually lost 12 inches overall. That means like arms, legs, bust, stomach, waist. Um, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how many inches that is and just two weeks of just eating vegan food and I've been a vegan this whole time and um, you know I didn't have the optional like dairy fish in the first week I just have been a full vegan and I've noticed my energy has increased substantially I'm more focused I have you know I, I don't feel bloated I feel full but not super full I, I just I've noticed my body feels so much better without like stuffing my face with white carbs and dairy by just simply adding more fruits and vegetables into my diet I just feel fuller with more energy and I don't feel like bloated or weighted down which is amazing so that said today is my day 15 and I'm going to be starting phase three and then just adding in extra supplements and it's only vegetables and fruit in this cleanse. If you're, I think if you're a guy, you can add some optional grains, but I'm only going to be doing like fruits and vegetables, but they do have like sweet potatoes and like filling stuff. Like it's not just like straight up raw foods. So anyway, that said, um, yesterday, my last day of phase two, I had my gorgeous fruit plate, which always makes me want to get up. I look forward to getting up in the morning to have my fruit plate. I get so excited because it's so refreshing and honeydew is amazing. I haven't really been like a big honeydew fan, but the honeydew at Whole Foods is absolutely outstanding. So I highly recommend you get some melon <laughs> for your morning. And after that, like usually I'll wake up and like work while I have to wait for the supplements uh, you wait 30 minutes and you have breakfast. So after that, I had my microgreen salad and I was really craving my Shakeology. So I actually had that before my salad. And I have, of course had the miso dressing, the toasted pumpkin seeds. Toasted pumpkin seeds are so easy to make. You literally spread out pumpkin seeds on like foil on a pan or sheet, like a sheet, cookie sheet, and you put it in the oven and you just bake it. Like I, I forget how long you have to bake it for, but it's so easy and it goes so well in salad. So I do want to clarify about Shakeology though. In phases one and two, you can have vegan Shakeology for a breakfast alternative or a snack. But in phase three, this calls for less protein, so you can only have half the serving. So I'm kind of sad about that. So starting today, um, day one, day 15, I have to only I have to cut that serving in half for like a snack. So whatever, it's just a week. But anyway, I also wanted to share that in between my lunch and dinner, I did 21 Day Fix Extreme Yoga. And this is a super intense class if you've ever done 21 Day Fix Extreme. If you're not a yogi, like I'm a beginner, but I can already feel my body changing and I'm becoming much more pliable. And it's really amazing what yoga can do for your mind and body. I I love making playlists on Spotify for my workouts. So I made like a yoga one, which is super chill. And I listened to that to be completely present. And I just focus on my breathing and going through those motions. And I really feel like that's helped my anxiety lesson. I'm way more flexible and present. My organizational skills, time management, productivity, all of that have really gone up the past two weeks, like significantly. So for dinner... I, um, again, like some ingredients I'm noticing I just don't like, which is good because then I can just take them out next time I do this or if I make them again, which I probably will. So dinner last night was roasted corn and edamame succotash. And this is basically frozen corn, frozen edamame. You pop the corn in the oven until it gets kind of brown and then you like boil the edamame. You make like some stir fried veggies, like red onion, yellow onion, red bell pepper, um, and then you put like a little salt and rice vinegar, combine them all together. And then you could put like an herbal blend in there. I didn't have one. Um, 
but you also put, okay, the rice vinegar was very overpowering. So I also doubled the recipe so my boyfriend could have some, but I think it was too much. It was just, it was just way too much. I think it'd be so much better if you put some cayenne and some like garlic powder, even just added garlic and removing the vinegar entirely would be pretty good. But I could also see this going really well with quinoa. So Overall though, phase two was a big success for me. I think that was my hardest week, but I pushed through. I didn't cheat at all, drank tons of water, and I, I just had amazing progress as I've shared with you. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm really gonna push hard in phase three. Um, I end like two days before my birthday, so let's hope that I um, can stay on track here and start taking the supplements and really just push myself. So if you guys have any questions regarding this cleanse, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about it. I know how hard this can be not doing it with a support system. So you can email me at lauremcq14 at gmail.com or check out my blog. I have a lot of information on there about the cleanse, daily videos, my YouTube channel as well, but it's lauremcqfitness.com. And you can uh, email me on the blog too. So thank you for watching and I will get back to you after I complete day one of phase three. Bye.